come out have the confidence have the courage <laughs> Hello, hello, Privet. Bonjour, Milishani, Moko Bwanji, Mujiri Apimwani, Mogauti. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mumba. I'm still Mumba, yeah. My name didn't change. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel, like my previous videos, and watch them and share them with your family, your friends, and anybody you feel would love to watch them. So, um, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about achieving your goals and why it's important to have goals in life. So, yeah. Um, what is achieving something? To achieve something is to successfully bring about something you dream of becoming or having or to reach a desired result of something that you've always wanted to see happening in your life so and then um, a goal is something that you set for your life as a guide something you 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 desire for and put actual effort in so why is it important to have goals in your life? Well, I feel like goals um, are going to help you to clarify what you actually want for your life. Um, when you have goals set ahead for you, it's going to be easier for you to commit yourself on your journey to becoming what you dream of. So, if you don't have goals, <laughs> you are set for failure. If you don't plan, then you plan to fail, apparently. There's a saying that goes like that. If you don't plan, then you plan to fail. Because you're not going to have direction. So, goals are going to give you direction in your journey. Um, you're going to make life choices based on, your, on the goals that you've set for your life. But if you don't have goals, you're going to just make a choice to follow anything or to just go astray you know so yeah the goals that you set are actually gonna help you to actually commit yourself into becoming what you want to become it be a footballer a lawyer pilot doctor whatever decisions you make are gonna be based on your goals so yeah so goals are important to give you direction. They're a guide. They'll help you. And you make good life choices. Positive choices towards the goals that you set. So yeah, that is why you need to have goals in your life. So yes, and um, I'm going to give you steps on how to achieve your goals. Things that you should consider for you to be successful with achieving your goals so if you're the person that don't have goals for your life it doesn't always have to be about your education it could be about something else something you're passionate about you could set goals for how am i gonna reach this how am i gonna be the best in this and yeah so if you don't have goals start writing today you need to have goals <laughs> after watching this video don't just go away without having goals set for yourself you need to know that starting today my journey ahead i need to have some goals for myself yeah and goals basically help to improve yourself 
they'll be there as something that's going to help you to to become better like improve your quality of life so yeah <laughs> i think okay so to achieve these goals you will need to put in effort you need to have all the skill for your goals you need to have the courage to actually be able to do this you need to have you need to be passionate about it so yeah and don't forget to have the confidence because that is going to take you a long way you're gonna know what you actually said for and what's best for you and not what others think so step one to achieving your goals you need to start low but aim higher there are people that want to have thousands of dollars in just a day or they want to be a billionaire and they want that to happen in 24 hours 24 hours <laughs> get real with yourself you need to know that okay what you're aiming for is way high up there but what you need to understand is that there's always a starting point for something you you can't just wake up and say oh i want to have ten thousand dollars and i want it to happen today today and now when you don't even know where that money is supposed to come from you don't understand why you need that money and things like that you need to have a start point you need to plan you need to know that there's always a staircase to something and that staircase has to start from stage one stair one stair two stair three until you get to where you want to be so yeah don't forget that always start low but aim higher you need to see that i want to be up there way high up there so yeah and uh point two would be celebrate every achievement that you that you get on your way up there and you need to keep going don't let someone come to you and tell you <laughs> so you're yeah, celebrating that i uh, are you sure so what for you if you celebrate big things i celebrate little even the little most things you know like for example if i'm saving and i want to save for something and let's say i get 50 cents or just this the little most coin out there i'll still be happy i'll still celebrate i'll be like oh i found a coin yay i'm gonna add it to my piggy bank that is how you go about success even the little most things should make you happy don't be like ah me ka 50 kwacha i'm trying to save for twenty thousand. where do you think twenty thousand is going to come from you need to save little by little step by step so yeah that is how you're gonna be successful about your achievements because if you one day if you want to start on a high note like I just want you end up doing things you're not supposed to do <laughs> you do things you're not supposed to do <laughs> so um the next thing we're gonna talk about is how you need to set your own goals and don't let others do it for you if you let others set goals for you you fail definite failure <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, but what I'm saying is that you will fail. If you let others set goals for you, you're going to fail, especially parents. Parents have this mentality of wanting their children to do exactly what they want. They don't ever bother to ask their children what they want to do. And you, with your low self-confidence, you agree. You can't even tell your mom or your dad that no i don't want to be a doctor actually i want to be an artist or i want to be some computer tech or something because parents feel like oh being a doctor is something you know it's a being a lawyer what if you want to be a, an artist you can become if you know that you're so good at it and you can actually make your life way better by being an artist instead of a lawyer then why not do it don't let others set goals for you it's your life 
your destiny your everything it's gonna be you in the end no one's going to come through for you if you keep failing trust me you, you don't want to go to law school and keep failing because someone forced you to or because you didn't have the courage to actually come out and say no this is what i actually want to do i don't want to be a lawyer I want to be an artist. I want to be a footballer. I want to be the best footballer out there. So why not let me? Hmm? Why? Why not let me? Come out. Have the confidence. Have the courage. <laughs> and come out. Have the confidence. Have the courage. <laughs> and yeah, that will help you. Another thing is you need to have a clear view of what success really is because if you don't have a clear vision of what you set ahead for yourself you're not going to want it as much but if you know how beneficial it is for you you're going to want to put in more effort you're going to be committed to actually getting that thing that you want so just understand why it is important for you if i want to be a doctor I need to understand why being a doctor is going to be important for me in my life. If I'm passionate about it, I need to know the benefits of becoming a doctor. I also need to know the risks because it's not always about the good things. Yes, goals are meant for positivity, but you need to know everything about that thing that, you, that you're chasing after. That thing that you dream of becoming or having. So, yeah, if you want to be a footballer, you need to know that there are going to be times you're going to be injured for maybe months even or even a year but that shouldn't make you to give up and just be like you know so you need to plan for yourself you need to know that okay if i don't play the football for like a whole year i'm injured do i have plans do i do i know so goals come with you know also saving up for the for the bad side of it the risks and the yes and another thing would be always keep track of your performance because this is gonna help you a lot i'm not saying keep track of your performance by looking at what others are doing yes you can just to get motivated not to envy anyone you need to you can look at what others are doing and you know be like oh ish, i'm inspired my friend is on level 10 why am i still on level 2 so yeah but i'm not saying you need to do it in a way of envy like you're jealous or oh, because my friend is on level 10 i just have to reach level 10 today 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 <laughs> you won't reach there <laughs> so yeah um you need to keep track of your performance in the form of wanting to better yourself you need to be like okay i'm on level two i need to this is a plan of how i'm gonna completely um um how i'm gonna successfully complete level two and get to level three and then you need to come up with ideas of how to get to your goals you know like not just few 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 <laughs> yeah you need to yes you need to know come up with plans how am I gonna get this? How am I gonna do that? That helps a lot. The last point, the very, 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 very last point is, as I've always said in my previous videos, life is about you. Your choices are about you. So this last point is about you and it is for you you right today are watching <laughs> yes do it for your own best set goals for your own best like i said don't let others set goals for you so if you do it for your best it will make you happy it will make you happy from the inside to the outside if I know that what I'm doing, the goals I'm setting ahead are for my best and for me. Not that you don't have to think about others, but I'm just, you know, putting it out for you to understand that it's supposed to be about you. It's supposed to be about something you want, something that makes you happy, something that you always want to achieve. You get peace. Namaste. It will make you so happy. 
because you know that you want to do it for yourself you you're not letting anyone come in between that or yeah it's a story for you if it's always a better way better form if you plan for yourself and just know that there will always be mistakes because humans make mistakes it's human to make mistakes and to err if you learned english in high school you will know <laughs> finish it for yourself finish it that is a home task <laughs> as teacher says home task yeah it was nice having you guys with me watching my video so happy that you guys were here so happy you took your time to come and watch me and listen to me i hope it helped you one way or another and share this with your family with your friends with somebody out there that you think deserves to watch this video keep sharing like and comment please guys comment what type of content you want to see on my channel sometime and i will put it to thought so yeah don't forget to do that until next time until next time when i come back with a video it's your girl mama Still the same. Until next time, just say bye bye. Until next time.